Hello guys, AJ here, and today I'm going to give you a quick little look at, um, you probably guessed it already by the title, uh, at Windows 8. Um, now, <laughs> uh, I just bought Windows 8 today when I'm recording this. Excuse me. Ugh. And, um, I, I must say, I was very, very skeptical when it come to Windows 8. I did not, I was not sure about this at all. From the looks of it, I did not like it. I was scared of what might happen if I install this, if what, what is going on with my, I don't know. But uh, a friend of mine actually got this on his laptop and, uh, he actually told me that it's not too bad and after he after he got he was explaining to me a bit and he explained a couple of things and you know after a while i said uh you know what fuck it i'm gonna go ahead buy windows uh windows 8 and install it so that's what i did um hoping for the best and the main thing I was worried about when downloading and installing Windows 8 is that they remove the start button, which is going to be a problem for me. Uh, that it are that you know everyone that are used to using the start button, but now that if you look at my desktop right here, if we go down to the corner here, you can actually see that I got my start button, and um, it's it's right there. Um, and as you all may know, uh, Windows 8 actually they removed the start button, so that shouldn't really be there. But I will link, leave a link to a video that I watched that actually told me how to get the start button back. Uh, you have to download a program and install it, and that will give you the start button just like that, no problems at all. Just go ahead and install it, and you will have the start button. And I'm like knowing that I could get the start button back that easy. Um, made made me think that well, hey why why what well, then I don't really see what the problem is, so I went ahead and did that, and and as you see I have the start button no problems really uh, I got my documents can go there to my documents oh there's the bendy cam thing let's get that up in the corner I don't really uh, get out of there um you can go to my pictures um you can go to my Oh, that's that. Uh, we're gonna look at that later. Uh, and we can go to my my computer, like that. You can go to to the control panel, like that. Um, uh, well, clicked on the wrong button. Uh, control panel. There you go. With no problems whatsoever. As you may see, there is some. This is actually all in Norwegian, so you won't understand any, anything of it. But that doesn't really matter in this video. Um. So other than that, the desktop is pretty much just like it always used to be. As you can see, I can make the Google Chrome go full screen, go to YouTube, and it looks pretty much just the same. So as long as you get that start button there, you can use a Windows just like you always used to with no problems whatsoever. Now, what is new about Windows 8 is that you can actually, um, it's, it's a new thing called Metro or the start menu, metro start menu, or whatever. Now, when you start up Windows, Windows 8, the metro start menu is what you're going to start off with. This, what you see right here. Um, and uh, it won't look the same as what it looks like me because I've customized this a little bit. Uh, so it's customized it to my liking. And um, uh, this should say desktop somewhere up here. Um, so if you click on that, it will take you to the desktop. And it will be almost like normal Windows, like I said, like normal Windows 7. But from the desktop, if you want to go to your Metro Station or Metro Start Menu or whatever, you take your mouse cursor and go back, go down in the um, left, left bottom corner. And if you hover over the left bottom corner, you should see a little, um, little box popping up. And if that is open, you can click, and it will take you to the Metro Start Menu. Um, now on here, um, I'm not going to explain everything about this, but uh, as you only know, that this is designed to be used as on tablets. That's why the icons and everything are so big for easy use at a tablet. And um, 
And that's why that this is the thing that kind of got me scared of Windows 8 because you know it's weird. It's not, and it's. If you if you hadn't have installed that start button, you would have to go through here each time you would want to go, let's say, to the control panel. Like this. Like you can see the control panel right here. You have to go into here and click the uh, control panel to open this. But that's no problem now that we got the start button there. We can just go like we always used to, like that. But um so that's one of the reasons, I'll, that's the main reason I just got this. And then, because of this, we have this normal Windows, the normal desktop, and then the Metro menu comes as like a side thing. If you want to use it, use it. If you don't want to use it, you just stay to stick to your desktop and ignore your, um, and ignore the, um, the Metro, like completely. Um, but for us, those of us who want to get more involved in this and try to use it a little bit, um, it's pretty much like let's see, let's let's imagine this is a tablet right now. Now, if we wanted like tablet, like for example, here's an app, a Wikipedia app. You can go in here. Let's say this is a tablet. Oh, you want? I want to scroll through stuff. Want to look at some stuff. I don't know why this isn't loading, but you know, let's say and this is a tablet. We're looking through, and it's all nice and and fancy and all that and on the on a desktop computer it works exactly the same because it's the same oper operative system so it's you can scroll through look at stuff and oh man and uh look at um you know just like if you on a tablet and there's so all of these apps that are in the metro station are designed to be used as a tablet at, at the tablet but since the metro comes with windows and a computer you can also use these apps on your computer and this gives us a few opportunities if you go back to the metro station here by going down in the corner clicking to start and you can also go to the store which gives you a bunch of stuff here like Let's see. Let's say if you want to go to games, if you, like if you if there's a game you really like playing on your iPhone or like on a tablet, on a Windows tablet, you can go here, and you can do the exact same thing and get those games on your computer. Which is one of the nice things with the um, with uh, the whole Metro thing. So what I did here, I went on the uh, the game thing and I went ahead and downloaded the jet jetpack joyride which is act which is you know originally uh a phone game or or like a tablet game but since we got this metro thing now i went ahead and downloaded it and then we can go ahead and start it up and as you see it works exactly the same as if it was on a tablet so we can go ahead here and we can play of course you know you can't get like Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3, or Battlefield on here because because this is you don't you can't play those on a tablet. So uh, so as you see, there's all you can play just like you would on a tablet, and um, it works pretty good, it works pretty smoothly. So man, I gotta stop playing. So if you want to close any any app in this game, or what I'm saying, if you want to, doesn't matter which app it is, but you can go ahead and you can close it no matter what. Um, what app is app it is in the metro station? You can go ahead and close it by taking your mouse, go to the top of the screen, clicking and dragging it down to the bottom. Now that will close the program. Other way to close, uh, an, and another way to close apps like that is if you go into the top left corner, and then you go down. There will be you can see that we have the Wikipedia and the store app, the Wikipedia and the store app that we opened. Um, uh, earlier in this video, you can go ahead and right click on those, close, right click, close, and now we all we got remaining is the uh, the desktop here. Um. So yeah, other than that, like that is pretty much. So so when I found out that this Metro thing, it pretty much just comes as a side thing. It doesn't. You don't have to use it. You can only use it if you want to. And that's just 
it, it works great pretty much. I was so skeptical about this and um not I've shown not that I have shown you this. I, I think maybe some of you might actually think the same thing as me and go ahead and buy it. Like it's actually a lot cheaper now, half price I think, if you buy it um within two months or something. Um so for those of you who haven't who have been very skeptical this to this metro thing, um and that the ones of you who missed the start button go ahead and go to the link in the description and look at that and you can get the start button back um so other than that i think that was this for this video uh, i just wanted to let you guys know that i bought windows 8 and i will be using that in the future and that you should buy windows windows 8 too if you have been skeptical like me and if you want to give it a try go ahead because it's really not that bad um so, uh, if you want more information about Windows 8, there's, a, there's tons of videos out there. But for all of you that have been skeptical like me, give it a try. It's, it's really not that bad. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if I've sounded a little bit tired because I am. I'm actually about to go to sleep. But I just wanted to get this uh, uh, record this video and get done with it. Um, so, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a comment telling me what you think about Windows 8 and uh, uh, I will see you guys later. Agent I'm out. Peace out.